Hey guys, welcome to Daisy's Garage. So in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to review Meguiar's Ultimate Black Plastic Restorer. And what we're going to do it on, if you've seen my last video, is we're going to do it on this roof trim here. Um, and see how good it is. I've not actually used this product yet, so I'm really not sure. Oh, focus, come on, there we go. Yeah, I've not used this product yet, so I'm really not sure what to expect. Um, but it is Meguiar's and it is the ultimate range, so it's probably going to be quite good. But uh, yeah, let's just get down to it and see what we think. So we're going to start out by giving it a really good shake. There we go. And then, because I don't know it, I'm going to use a pea-sized amount of it. Oh, it's really runny actually. It's incredibly runny. So we'll try it, see what it does. Good God, this stuff is really, really runny. Okay, so what on this section what we're gonna do is we're gonna not leave it to rest. So I'm gonna literally remove it as soon as it goes on. And we'll come back to that in a minute, see what we think. And then what we're gonna do is we'll move slightly over here a bit. There we go. And what we're gonna do on this bit of trim is again using a pea-sized amount. But this time what we're gonna do is we're going to let it actually sit in and absorb into the plastic and see if it makes a difference. Right, so we'll leave that one for a couple of minutes, see what it does, and I'll just finish off the rest of this side of the trim. Right, so that's been a couple of minutes, so let's buff this off and see what it looks like. Right, so back to the back of the car where we first started and we rubbed it straight off. It looks pretty good, actually, to be fair. The lights in here are pretty intense, so it's not. It doesn't look, doesn't look quite as shiny as this in real life. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. Right, I'm gonna buff that bit. See if it. Yeah, it's not. The, the camera's not doing it justice. It's actually nowhere near as shiny as it looks on the camera. Um, so it's, it's gone to more of a matte type finish. It's just because there's a light literally right above my head. So it's making it look a lot shinier than it is. Um, so yeah, so that's that side. That's it buffed off straight away. Applied and buffed off straight away. The one thing is though, it's really, really oily. So it makes a hell of a mess of your paintwork, which is kind of annoying. Right, so anyway, let's go back over here to this side where we let it sit for a minute or two. Now, ignore all this, because this is just overrun from that plastic restore. Well, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad a product. Very easy to apply, but uh, a bit runny for my liking, but you know, not too bad. Right, so let's try it now on this because this is just an absolute train wreck of a place. So what we'll do is we'll try it on this part here and uh, see what it does. You can, t you can tell I've been using, if you watched the last video, which I will link in the description, um, I was using a rubber to remove a lot of this and it looks way worse on camera than it does in real life actually. But uh, anyway, so yeah, let's try it on this now and uh, see what we think. That's not really a pea. Slightly bigger than a pea sized amount this time. Right, so not particularly uh, impressed at that. Now this is plastic restore and obviously there is wax still on this so What we'll do is, for a, for a comparison, what we'll do is, we'll leave that there to dry for a minute. And what we'll do is, we'll on this panel here, we'll use my go-to, which is Carplan's Black Trim Wax. 
<laughs> this stuff is uh, this this stuff makes anything black. It's unreal. You'll see what I mean in a second. Right, so just for comparison. See what I mean? Now what you do with the car plan stuff is you leave it on for a couple of minutes and then buff it off. But you can see already in the Maguires, which is on this side, you can still see the swirl marks from the the polish. And I have a funny feeling that is purely because it's a white substance rather than it being black like the car plan stuff. I mean, look, car plan cloth versus where we did with the Maguires. So you can see it's obviously going to be an advantage straight out the gate because it's restoring the trim back to a proper black colour. So, right, first of all, we'll, we'll buff the car plan stuff off. Then we'll get a clean part of the microfiber. Then we'll buff this stuff off too. So, I mean, it worked well on the roof. You know, hang on, wait, I'll take you off the tripod just quick. Yeah, so it worked. It worked well on the roof. I mean, it really did do a good job of the roof. But it could just be that the trim here <coughs> is just too far gone to be saved by something that's a clear liquid. Because, I mean, like I say, car plan trim wax, Maguire's. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% sold on this one, to be honest, guys. So yeah, I'm not, I don't really know what to think to be honest, I don't like to really slay any product. Um, but I was kind of expecting more from Meguiar's on this one. I really was, I'm actually genuinely shocked to say that because every other Meguiar's product I've used, I've absolutely loved. But this one, I mean, that is that bottle is literally double the price of the Carplan Trim Wax. And it, it just doesn't deliver, so. If anybody in the comments, if somebody from Maguire's is watching this, first of all, I apologise if you don't particularly agree with my review. Um, I'd love to know how, if I've applied it wrong, if I've done something that I shouldn't have done, let me know in the comments, or ping me an email or something like that. Because um, like I say, I, I'm genuinely quite disappointed in this one. So, take you off the tripod. <clears throat> so yeah, I don't, I, don't, uh, I don't really know what to think about that, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll let you guys make up your own mind right enough because you can see the footage the same way I can. Um, and like I say, the difference between Carplan and the Maguires is quite a big difference. So, Anyway guys, that's it for another video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It definitely wasn't what I was thinking um, was going to happen. So uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll leave you all to it and I will see you in the next one.